Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools channel. Sometimes the best tool to use on a project is not a hammer or a drill. Sometimes the best tool to use is math itself. So today we're gonna to talk about how to measure the length of a curved line, also called an arc, using math. So stick with me and I'll see you right after this. Hey guys, let's just say you got a pipe like this and you want to insert a nozzle of some sort or for instance, another pipe into the bigger pipe at a 45 degree angle for today's illustration. Well, in order to do that, you gotta do some math to get the measurements correct so you place the pipe or nozzle correctly. So let's jump right into that. Okay, so one of the first things we wanna do is take into account the diameter of the pipe. So this is a four inch pipe. Now, let's make sure that it is a four inch pipe by looking at the specs on the pipe, okay? So if we look at it here, that's right, it says four inches, okay, four inch ABS. Well, that just means that the inner diameter of this pipe is four inches. And when I say inner diameter, that just means this inside edge to this inside edge is four inches. But it doesn't take into account the thickness of the pipe, right? Which will add to the total diameter of this pipe. Okay, so if we take into account the thickness of the pipe, which is about a quarter of an inch, okay, and we multiply that by two because the diameter will include this edge and this edge plus the inside diameter, which will give us the total diameter of the pipe, right? So that's four inches plus a quarter of an inch and another quarter of an inch, which will be about four and a half inches. So now that we have the diameter of the pipe, Let's make a quick diagram on a piece of paper so we can continue to do the math and figure this out. Okay, so now I wanna find the center of this circle. So I'm gonna take a protractor, and I know you guys are familiar with this, right? Anybody who went to high school or junior high should know what this is. So this is a protractor, and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna place this top edge of the protractor onto the top edge of this circle here, okay? This inside edge here, so let's do that. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a pen or pencil and this little hole that's in the protractor there, I'm gonna take your pen and just mark that. And there you have the center of your circle. So you may be saying, what if I don't have a protractor to find the center of my circle? Well, you don't necessarily have to have a protractor. You can use a straight edge to find the center of your circle as well. So we know that the diameter is 4.5 inches across. Okay, well, if you divide that by two, you get two and a quarter inches. So you take your straight edge, okay, and you measure from the edge two and a quarter inches in. And as we see, that lands right on the center mark that we made with the protractor. So that's how you can confirm if your center is correct. So the next thing I do is divide that circle into four quadrants. And the way I do that is by taking my straight edge again, okay? Taking the edge of this ruler, placing it on the edge of the paper there. And I wanna make sure that that edge of the ruler here, this edge, dissects the center of the circle. Okay, once I feel that it's dissecting the center of the circle, I wanna take my pen or pencil and mark from one end of the circle all the way through the center, all the way to the other edge. Then I wanna take my ruler again and place it horizontally and do the same thing.
So now I've divided my circle into four quadrants. Okay, so we said we want our nozzle or our pipe to be inserted into our bigger pipe represented by this circle here at a 45 degree angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our trusty protractor again and center it on the circle. So we know from our math class in high school that anything under 90 degrees is an acute angle. We know that 45 degrees is under 90 degrees, but where do we find that on the protractor? Well, if we look at the scale here on the protractor, the inner scale, we see that it's from 10 all the way to 180, from right to left. And if we look at the outer scale, we see that 10 starts from the left all the way to the right. So we're not gonna use the outer scale. We're gonna use the inner scale to find our 45 degrees. And that's right about here. So we're gonna make a mark on 45 degrees right here. Okay, then we'll take the same protractor, the straight edge portion, and make a mark from the center of the circle all the way to the 45 degree mark right there. Okay, so the next step is to figure out what our arc length is, okay? So I wrote that there, arc length. And that's the distance from this point to this point because this point represents the center, okay, of where our nozzle or pipe will be inserted. So we have to have that center point there. So we have to know the distance from this point to this point. And how do we figure that out? Well, we have a formula here. So OD stands for outer diameter, okay? That means from this edge, the outer edge, to the other outer edge, that's the outer diameter. It includes the inner diameter and the thickness and all that stuff we talked about earlier. And we know that from this outer edge to this outer edge, based on our calculations, is 4.5 inches. So we write 4.5 there. Now, this right here represents pi. And if you know from your math class, that's the symbol of pi and it equals 3.14. So it's 4.5 times 3.14. times angle. So what's the angle? We said that we want our nozzle or pipe inserted at 45 degrees, and that's 45 degrees right there, divided by the full degrees of a circle, which is 360 degrees. Okay, so let's pull out the calculator and see what we get. So we have 4.5 times 3.14, which is pi, times 45 degrees, which is our angle, divided by 360 degrees. And we get 1.76 inches. You can round that up to about 1.77 or 1.8 inches. Now there's another formula you can use to figure out the arc length, and that's taking the radius of your circle, and we know that the radius is half of the diameter. So we see here that the radius is two and a quarter inches, okay? So you say two and a quarter inches times the angle, which is 45 degrees, times point zero. One, seven, four, five. So let's go back to the calculator and see what we get. So we got the radius, 2.25 times the angle, which is 45, times 0 0.01745. And what do we get? That looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? So we now know that the arc length, the distance of this curved line is 1.76 inches.
So we know that the center point of where we need to start drilling our hole into our larger pipe to insert our nozzle or pipe is going to be right here. There are so many applications when it comes to measuring curved lines, from piping, to welding, to surveying. Hey, as you can see, math can be the ultimate tool when it comes to getting those projects done. So guys, if you like the video, crush that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.